Today I'm going to talk to you about Apogee's new MQ500 PAR meter. Now Apogee designed this PAR meter specifically to be used with saltwater aquariums lit with LEDs. This uh, meter should give more accurate readings than the predecessor, the MQ200. So we're going to take some readings in the tank and show you. People always want to know what the PAR levels are. Uh, understanding PAR in an aquarium is important because it can tell you how much light to give a coral. So for instance, if I turn the meter on here, I place it in the bottom corner, the PAR is now it's going to jump, you'll notice, because the water refracts due to the movement on the surface, but that's normal. So here it looks like we have a range from anywhere from 70 to around 85, maybe jumps to 90 at rarely, but mostly 70 to 85. In the middle by these alveoporas, a little higher, more like 90 to 100. If we come up near this t uh, spaghetti leather, the par is about 117, give or take 117, 120. Now higher right under the light by this red table, we're all the way up to about 200 to 212. At the surface, but just under the water, right under the light, 260, 270, right under the sensor. There we're getting 290, 300. But as we drop down by this Acropora, light levels dropping again, 190, 200 or so. On the far corner of the tank, 120. So understanding how the light is or how intense it is in different sections of the aquarium is important so you know where to place your corals. Now you also want to observe the corals. If you see something that's a brilliant bright green and you put it in a tank and then it starts to become more of a faded green, that's a sign that the coral is receiving more light than it's used to. And you might want to consider dimming lights or moving that coral to a space with less light. In fact, that happened with our war paint scalemia. We used to have it right out in the front corner but it started lightening in color, so we moved it back in the cave. Now it's recovering, darkening back up, and uh, seems to be very happy in the cave with less light. So definitely a great investment for any reef club or group of hobbyists. Uh, these meters are not cheap. They run about 495 bucks, but if you can split between a few friends, it's a very good tool to have. Uh, definitely give you a clearer picture of your aquarium. Thanks, guys.